Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Bahati and today I'm just going to show you guys how I'm going to prepare for the upcoming month. So February is literally tomorrow and I want to make sure like I continue my good habits, right? I want to make sure I'm consistent and I want to make sure I'm doing what I got to do to kind of like reach my goal and kind of continue my um, New Year's resolution. So I'm not sure if you guys seen my very first video of the year, but in that video I was talking about the habits that I've created um, and how I've organized them so that I can make sure that I'm consistent throughout the year or at least throughout the month of January. I'm just going to continue that into this month and I'll show you guys kind of like how I did it when this loads. Right here, you can see that I have my 2023 goal tracker, right? So this right here is the template that I'm going to use and I'm gonna put it into February right now, right? So I'm just gonna take it and copy and paste it. So once it's pasted, you can see right here that it's in this sheet and you can see that they're identical. All I want to do is go ahead and um, change this. And this template I got um, online. I cannot find the person I got it from. I can't find that video anywhere so that I can send it to you guys. But I could create a blank one if you guys want me to. Just comment down below and let me know. And then I will come back to this video and put it in the description. But I do not take credit for creating this. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it up, change up the colors, just so that you can see the difference between this one and this one. I'm going to write February right here. And for this, we're going to go with, we're just going to go with the next color in the, on that chart. Just going in and putting the white back in to separate it. So far, it's looking good. So far it's looking good. I just have to clear all these checks because none of these have been done yet. So for this one, I already took out all the checks that were there. I made this about the same color as this, right? And then the, the boxes that you check are a little darker so I don't have to worry about the background being a different color because the boxes are already standing out. The headings, I like to make it a little darker itself though. So I'll go with this color, something like that, and see the similarity. And I'm just gonna take this, and to make my life easier, I'm just gonna copy and paste it instead of changing all of the colors. And then for the top part, instead of unchecking all these, I'm also gonna just copy and paste it. Okay, so I'm gonna take these four that I used, and I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste it here, and then I'm gonna take these eight. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it here. So this one only has four rows. So I'm only gonna take the first four, first four rows. This. So I'm gonna copy that. Paste this, and the checks are gone. So now both of these are done, and what I can actually do is just take this whole row now and just paste it right here. And then now there's two left, I just take two rows, copy, and paste. Then I get rid of these. The first one will always check it, but now I got a blank sheet. You can go ahead and customize this however you want. Um, these are things that I want to do weekly. And I want to do some of these like once a week, some of these three times a week. None of them are really any, none of these are every single day a week, which is why I have four boxes here. Because at most I want to do like one of these three times a week. So I'll check it off if I do it three times in that week. And then I just have a fourth box in case I decide to go beyond and do it 
that for some. So this, I'm just going to do this. Look at my calendar right here in front of me on my iPad. And then adjust it to the new month. Okay, so that's done. And, and this is basically my new month. Everything is clear as you can see right here. All the tallies for how much I've done that week is clear and how much I've done that week is clear. Let me just change my monthly color. We're done with the calendar. We're done with the habit tracker, I should say. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my school calendar and I'm going to I'm going to look at this and where I see any where I see any assignments or any due dates I will go ahead and take that I will go ahead and take my assignment due date and I will put that into my Apple calendar that way I'll see it on my iPad and on my phone because those are the calendars that I use. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and look at other classes because not every single class puts their due dates and homework assignments on Blackboard because not all my assignments are on Blackboard. So I'm gonna go back and look at my syllabus and write those due dates down and put them into my Apple calendar as well. Thank you. Right here in calendar. This is how my monthly calendar, this is not how my monthly calendar looks. I guess, I guess when you put it here, you don't see how it looks. This is how my monthly calendar looks on my iPad. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually has like people's birthdays, President's Day, Ash Wednesday and all that. But I'm here, it's not showing it, but no worries, no worries. That just means you guys can't see whose birthdays are here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add right here and I'm gonna just put new event. I'm gonna name it as my assignment. And then, sorry, I'm gonna name it as my assignment that's due and then I'm gonna set it for two, I'm gonna set it for three hours before it's actually due. And I'm gonna set, I don't know if I can set a reminder But I will set it a few hours in advance that way if I get notified too late or like I didn't remember and then my calendar tells me, I'll be notified, you know, three hours in advance and then I can do the assignment. I might just set it all day event though, just so that I can see it from 12 a.m. to the end of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and split my screen just so that it's easier to see. And then like today's Tuesday, so Thursday I have some dynamic work that's due in the morning. So I have to look at the assignments this way. Since this one is due in the morning, I'm going to actually set it up for tomorrow. That way I'll be notified all day tomorrow. No repeating. So I've set the calendar up so that I'll be reminded all day tomorrow that the, this assignment is due. And I'm actually going to put that it's due on the 2nd. And I'm gonna put the time as well. And I also 
also put it in this color for home just so that I know that it's homework and assignments that I gotta do. Press OK and it goes right here onto my calendar. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one, homework three. Once again, all day, purple, the assignment, the assignment, the date, the time, homework, all day. Okay, and that's added as well. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is this assignment. The good thing about doing it like this is when my teacher, this blue right here, assigned these assignments, we were assigned the assignment that's due on the 23rd first, and then we were assigned the one that's due on the 4th to 2nd. So technically, our first assignment is on the 23rd, and our second assignment is on the 14th. So I just, putting it like this makes it easier for us to see which comes first, or which is due first, and now which one was assigned first. See, like I said, February 23rd, homework number one, and then February 14th, homework number two. Makes no sense. So for this one, since it is due at midnight, I can put it for the day it's actually due. And then, I can put it for the day it's actually due. And then, for three hours. So if this is due at 11.59, I'm gonna do three hours from 11.59. There we go. And there it is. Um, so this is how my February calendar looks so far. It is not complete. There are at least, there are at least like three other classes that I haven't put in for the month of February. But I am gonna just show you, like, since this is all purple, I'm gonna do a different one that's a different color, but a personal one. I have an event coming up on the 15th, so I'm gonna put that in. So the event is on the 15th, right? So I'm just gonna put it for the 14th just because I wanna be ahead. Like the day before, I wanna be thinking about this event and everything I have to do before I go. Just to make sure I get all my homework and assignments done the day before so that when I do go to that event, I don't go back home worrying about whether or not I have enough time to complete my homework before midnight. These, the difference between this one and this one you can see that they're both purple and you see this one has a dot and this one doesn't have a dot the reason these are boxed are because these are set for all day events while this is only set for a specific time but yeah that's basically how i'm going to do the rest and i'm going to color code it like you see here for homework and personal events so that's really all that i'm doing i'm just putting in my calendar and making sure I know everything that's coming up. That way I can stay ahead and making sure I have my tracker ready to go. That way I can go ahead and check off every single thing that I need to do daily, weekly, and monthly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these two are your favorites, whether it's the tracker or the calendar and which one you think would help you most. All right, bye.